Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Jace and welcome back to a, to the part 2 of the Design 101 series. And this is my third take. I'm kind of off my game because I've been busy with my personal stuff and I know I should have uploaded this uh, last month. But I didn't because I was busy and a lot of stuff were going on. So anyways, as you can see, um, big changes. Big changes happen big change so um however it's still the same process i did this i did some uh sketches of the design even though i did two so the design i chose was um obviously on this, the right this one uh, that is because um it's sexy it's quite revealing but you know it's it's my it's my choice all right so um uh, but of course, it's uh, in the final design of this female. Alright, oh, so um, she's the captain of the White Heart, by the way. Um, I designed her primarily for the uh, t-shirt I'm making. Uh, that's why I stopped. Uh, I didn't continue the previous drawing I did for the captain of the um, lower squad. Because I needed the three main cast of my story, and one being her, and second being the main character, which is Kaden. You know him by now. So this is the captain of the White Heart. If you don't know by now, White Heart is a, it's an elite group of knights specialized in special situations. Let's just say it at that. So I gave her a very revealing clothes. I mean design. Uh, very sexy and stuff like that because um, I still lack the knowledge of how I actually draw a female sexy but this is just temporary anyway so it's just for a t-shirt I'm making uh, the clo her clothes will change but the overall design of her look is will not change hopefully so yeah so Let's just get, uh, let me tell you what I changed. So, um, how do you say this? So, uh, yeah. Um, I, I just enlarged this image and then, uh, put it on a new canvas and did the same thing as, as, as in the previous video where I just outlined everything. So, all that left to do now is just outline it. Finalize the outline. Now, for me, I used to outline it um, all black, but I feel like it's too strong. I mean, it's too too sharp. So usually I would just so nowadays I mean I would go for the brown and then just uh, make it dark, really dark brown. Something about it just feels easier to the eyes. If you, yeah, so. I'm gonna outline this and I'll be back after I did, I mean after I do my thing, yeah. guys so I'm done with the outline so the next thing to do is just color it but that is the most difficult part because um, I don't know how she should look like I mean the color of course but so I'll be experimenting on that and we'll see how it goes all right be back in a minute
so I'm back and I've colored her, fleshed her out. Um, as you can see, I didn't do much for the. Um, I didn't do anything in for the spear because that is not the main focus of this um, uh, concept. The main point is the the character overall. So what I the colors seem a little bland. Um, especially the design I don't I don't like it however I think um, I'm gonna stick with this for now and then if I figured something out later on I'm gonna change it so this is still subject to change and all that left to do now is just um, do some shading uh, simple shading I don't think I will do any highlights maybe maybe so uh, I'll be back in a few and then we're just gonna talk about what we've done. Alright, see you later. So that's it for today. Um, I've done all the necessary parts just to you know um, get a better feel of the character. So she's obviously a female, an elf, and um, uh, there's not much else to say. Just that um, this design is still subject to change. I will be changing it uh, later on once I actually get a better feel of our character, cause. She's not really fleshed out yet, um, so this is just a, uh, let's see, a, one of our first designs, right? So let's, do, let's just do a quick recap on the previous video. I talked about six key points. Obviously in this video it's a different character, but uh, it's still the same process. So the first key point is gender, it's a female age somewhere between her 20s setting of course in a fantasy setting and her class will be a warrior using a lance i mean a spear as a weapon and her body and her body structure is um she's fit very muscular as so you can see in her legs and also her backstory backstory so now we know she's an elf and as you can see one of her ear, on her right ear, is um, is cut off. That is because um, in my in my world, the she's one of the um, she used to belong in this elf, and when you betrayed their their way of life, or let's just say she um, the the elves views her as a traitor, right? So. How do you know someone is a traitor? So they cut off one of her ear. Because the elves think that humans doesn't have pointy ears, right? Um, by cutting cutting off a piece of an elf's ear, they're, they belong to the humans, which in terms um, meaning not a part of an elf. If you, do you get what I mean? So basically, if, if you're an elf, and you you did something wrong uh, against your own kind I'll cut off your ear and basically you're not one of us anymore yeah so and also it's also uh, a way for someone to know someone is a traitor all right so um, I hope you like this video uh, leave a like share and subscribe and, and comment down below if it if these type of video help you and so that I will know and maybe I'll make another type of video that will teach you on something something else you know so again I am really sorry for uploading really late and just recently I've seen a recent rise of my subscribers it went from 62 to 65 and so I'm, I am very grateful for uh, 
I'm very grateful for you guys for subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot to me knowing that someone out there watches my content. Even though I'm still a novice, it's still a small YouTuber just trying to get by. It's a really big thing even though it's just 65 subscribers. Knowing that someone watches really means a lot. So um, that's it for now and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.